What's going on guys? So while I was putting together a lot of these like top five lists over the last couple weeks, I kind of got in the spirit myself on my own company, J Shaw Consulting. And I'm gonna be completely honest, I initially was not gonna put out any piece of content like this. I'm not one to talk about achievements. It's just not my vibe, that's just not me. Uh, but one of the reasons why I started this YouTube channel was to get out of the shadows of the industries uh, that I love, the industries that I work in, get in front of, in this case, the camera, share my thoughts, and give you guys, and hopefully give you guys value. So hopefully this video achieves that. Before I kind of get into all this, I wanna thank you guys over this year. If you guys have followed me prior to this year, thank you as well. I've been running J Shaw Consulting for the last six and a half years. Uh, the last probably four and a half years have been full time. The first two years was I, I had some acting positions with some uh, private equity or turnaround teams that were looking for a certain achievement. So I've been doing this for a while, the same type of work, but on my own for the last probably about four and a half years. So while I've been you know, running this consulting company, I've obviously been putting out a ton of content. Uh, you guys probably know me for, for that reason. So I want to thank you guys for supporting me with that, reading, watching, listening, what, however you kind of interacted with me. I really appreciate that. Um, and I'm going to continue to do that. And you guys will see over this video kind of discussing some of my plans for the future. But talked about like Jay Shaw Consulting. I always get positive messages where people are extremely uh, interested in working with me, but they're curious about, you know, how we could work together. And I think it's because of the industry not being as maybe uh, mature or kind of bigger, as big as some other industries, uh, management consultants are not, um, are not prominent in functional CPG uh, categories like food, beverage, and uh, nutritional supplements. So I always kind of work backwards when I explain to people. I always you know, kind of tell them first uh, what I'm not. I'm not a broker. Uh, that's definitely not something that I do. So if you are looking to get into one of those uh, food, drug, mass, convenience uh, types of clients, that's not gonna be me that's gonna kind of handhold you or kind of get you and walk you into the door. Uh, though I know a lot of those people and I know the strategies to get into those places, I'm not gonna kind of, I'm not that person to usher in a bunch of different brands. So what is a management consultant? I mean, the quick and dirty on this is that, you know, I'm kind of the Swiss army knife of solutions for, for, for clients that I work with. I don't deploy like a one size fits all approach. Everything is, is kind of, um, everything is custom and personalized to the certain situation. I'm there to help the performance of the company. I'm there to uh, solve problems. I'm there to, um, find opportunities and how I kind of do that is I get into the business intimately. I understand, you know, constraints, resources, um, available moves, um, just kind of looking at the strategic map or, or the kind of chessboard and trying to figure out, you know, where is the best chance of success? Where is uh, your, you know, where are we going to limit your exposure or liabilities? Uh, just a ton of those. You look at those things from both internal type of data collection, uh, you know, collecting information, you're looking at that from an external situation, doing those same things, and basically taking all of this information that you get, uh, you know, this analytical approach to uh, business, using, you know, I'm using my interpersonal skills to kind of tell a story to make sure that the client can understand, you know, how the performance is gonna get better, um, how we're gonna solve these problems or challenges, or how we're gonna attack these opportunities in the market. And I kind of distill that down to them in a usable manner. So that's kind of how I work. Uh, that's you know the quick and dirty in terms of like management consultant, uh, very much different than a broker, but in my opinion, much more needed, especially in the uh, functional CPG categories that I work in because the teams are usually pretty small and there's usually that missing uh, strategic piece that's uh, within a lot of these companies. Fill that role with clients from anywhere with pre-revenue startups up to you know $500 million a year plus uh, companies. So over the year 2018, kind of looking back, you know I worked with close to two dozen clients this year. Um, that's a little bit light over most other years. I did have a very long-standing client that was over a year and a half that kind of took up a lot of uh, my time, my billable time. So I was not able in the first part of the year to work with as many, uh, work with as many clients as I, as I usually do. These clients are, this year I think we had, I think I've had about five 
uh, five countries. Most of them were in the United States and Canada, but I did have some other international pieces. Uh, I'm working in primarily uh, at this point after four and a half years with networking and all that, I'm working in the categories that I enjoy most. These are functional CPG categories. So this is functional foods, functional beverages, and nutritional supplements and, and you know sports nutrition, all those kind of niches within there. Regardless of how long it's been since I've worked directly with on the brand side of the sports nutrition world, I do still see the most amount of my clients in sports nutrition. I think it's just natural with kind of my networking. I do work with a ton of different food and beverage or functional food and functional beverage clients. Uh, this year I worked uh, with companies that were dealing with keto food products, um, paleo food products, protein bars, uh, savory chips, plant-based and several other kind of areas. And then within functional beverages, worked a lot in energy drinks this year, value added water, coffee, tea, and also some protein added and probiotic um, added beverages. And though I don't always work within product development cycles, um, I did help clients uh, with a little bit over 40 launches uh, of products that kind of rolled up with variants and pack sizes and things uh, all the way past 100 total SKUs. I would say the biggest kind of topic a lot with, it doesn't matter what size client, was always around direct to consumer, e-commerce, Amazon, um, you know, from the smallest clients trying to understand just where they fit or how do they accelerate that to the biggest ones trying to reinvent packaging, uh, also look at their uh, pack sizes and all kinds of different profitability metrics to understand how do they stay in the good graces of a, of a Walmart or, a, or an Amazon. I've been working also with some personal brands this year from an entrepreneurial standpoint. Um, it is a challenge to not only work on my own, but also work on other entrepreneurs that are looking to enhance their personal brands. But I love that. Hopefully I could do a lot more of that next year. And I also helped one client uh, exit to a Fortune 500 company this year. And that doesn't happen every year. I have a, a few feathers in my cap in that area, but I did get one this year and I see maybe two or three of them on the horizon next year. But transition out of kind of just the hard stats around business, I've met more people this year than I have in my whole career um, at shows, uh, conferences, expos, phone calls, emails, uh, social media messages. Uh, it, it doesn't matter. I meet a ton of you guys and I'm blessed to be able to meet so many talented, passionate entrepreneurs, professionals. It's honestly what, uh, you know, is what is most important in my life is, is to do that and, add, and talk to people, add value share ideas, be able to create things, create, um, get ideas off the ground. That is, uh, is just so important to me. You know, and I, just from a content perspective, you know, I wrote over 50 articles this year. Um, I put together just on my own channel over 60 YouTube videos, and that's only over the last probably about half of the year. Uh, so, uh, and that's just, that's me first year out the gate, not knowing what I was doing or having correct processes in place to create more content. I also was on about 20 partner videos that I had primarily with Price Plow. If you guys are in the sports nutrition world, you guys know them. The one that gave me the kick in the butt to finally get this YouTube started and was on several different podcasts, several different speaking opportunities. But I think this is just the tip of the iceberg, honestly. There's been a momentum building for me for a while in this and I honestly think, you know, though I'm long, though I'm long on, on the way that I view kind of my place in the business world, um, I definitely think there's going to be another five to seven years before I'm even at a point where I feel like I'm in my rightful place in terms of influence and just being able to impact people's lives, adding value. Um, I'm on that way. I'm, I'm getting there. I'm accelerating some of my movements. I'm getting involved with different things and getting into rooms that I normally wouldn't be able to. So things are happening. I'm extremely excited. But I think 2019, things are going to progress even faster. I'm expecting to produce content at you know three or four times the amount that I did this year. Hopefully I can get a little bit of help as well on that manner. I got a couple ideas uh, down in the pipe there. I want to also speak more publicly. Um, and these things go along with the idea of like, you know, my purpose of, of adding value and creating value in the industries that I love, putting my thoughts out there, creating feedback loops, getting creativity going, uh, helping improve the industries that I love. 
the, the content is, is just part of that. The speaking publicly, getting in front of conferences, expos, all those types of things. These things are uh, important because they move the agenda forward. And kind of like the last um, one that I'm going to kind of share is surrounding, you know, seeking out kind of board or director seats or, or kind of uh, prominent positions on, you know, boards or incubators or anything like that. I'm, I'm only kind of sharing some of my 2019 goals, the ones that I think can the ones that I think you guys can also help me achieve. So if you do know of opportunities, being speaking engagements at conferences, expos, corporate events, um, universities, it doesn't matter. Uh, I would love if you guys reached out to me, if you guys know about anything from a board, uh, board positions or, or different opportunities in that manner, I would love as well, reach out to me. Um, and then finally, like if you guys wanna work with me on any level, reach out, I would love to talk. Um, we could talk about anything. We could try to figure out a way that we can work together. I've worked on you know, every type of project in, in, this, in these industries from A to Z and back and forth uh, 100 times over. So there's very little things that I haven't touched or have knowledge of. So I'd love to be able to add value to your situation, try to clear up challenges, seek out new opportunities, partner up, you know, strategic alliances, whatever you want to kind of throw at me, I'm more than happy to listen to. I hope 2019 is extremely successful for you guys. You guys are extremely optimistic for 2019. I think it's going to be the best year ever, um, especially if you are in the functional CPG categories or you're an entrepreneur. This is a perfect time. This is a beautiful time to uh, be out there doing these things. And if there's any way that I can ever help in this and to get you guys to your goals, like I said, reach out to me. But I want to thank you guys for taking some time out of your day to listen to me on this topic. If you guys want to help support me uh, just a little bit, all I ask is that you hit that like button down below. That's as little that's that little thumbs up button. And if you guys haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel, I don't know what you're waiting for. It's a great YouTube channel. Always talk about different valuable topics. And if you guys want to share this video, like, uh, comment, follow me on some of my other social medias. Everything is down below. I would love that. But just want to thank you guys one last time, taking some time out of your day. Hopefully I gave you guys some value. Hopefully you guys learned a little bit more about me. And I'll see you guys in the next video.